when something like this happens to you, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I didn't keep hoping it would happen. <laughs> All the speeches that you've made up in your bedroom or in the bathtub <laughs> go out of your mind completely. And you find that out of all the words in the world, just two stick in your mind. Thank you. Hi everyone and thank you for joining me. Today we are looking at the Best Actress nominees for the period between August 1932 and December 1933. To make it easier, I will just refer to it as Best Actress 1933. The nominees were Kesswin Hepburn in Morning Glory, Mae Robson in Lady for a Day, and Diana Winyard in Cavalcade. As most other early Oscar lineups, this category is barely ever talked about and none of the nominated performances truly became a part of movie history. However, there is one aspect that obviously makes this an actually quite historic occasion. Because it features the first Oscar nominated and winning performance from a certain actress you might have heard of at some point. You probably never heard of me because I, I'm just starting. During almost all of Catherine Hepburn's important career milestones, the Academy was at her side. From a grand comeback after a box office poison period, to her first and last performances opposite longtime partner Spencer Tracy, her spinster period, and her last big hit almost 50 years after her start in Hollywood. And the Academy was also right there in the beginning and awarded her the Best Actress Prize for her third movie ever. So it's certainly very interesting to take a closer look at the performance that began the love affair between the Academy and Catherine Hepburn who, of course, still holds the record as the most awarded performer in Oscar history. Thank you so much. But of course the presence of Catherine Hepburn is not supposed to cast her two co-nominees aside. Just because their names are not as well remembered as that of their famous competitor does not mean that their performances cannot be unexpected treasures and actually more deserving of the award. Oh, Ellen, what lovely flowers. They're from Bridges and Nina, with our very best wishes, I'm sure. And beyond these specific performances, all three nominees provide a certain fascination because, having been nominated in one of Oscar's earliest years, they all stand for certain trends that were started and strengthened in the beginning of the Academy and set the course for the years to come. I've seen them come, and I've seen them go. This is your moment. May God bless you while it lasts. So with all this said, let's get right ahead to the first nominated performance. <laughs> 